Hey, what's up? It's Brian with Radical Prep. We're going to be doing a data analysis question for the new SAT, the one coming in March 2016. This comes from the College Board website. And it's about manatees, so you know it's definitely authentic. Um, the scatter plot above shows counts of Florida manatees, a type of sea mammal, from 1991 to 2011. Based on the line of best fit to the data shown, which of the following uh, values is closest to the average yearly increase in the number of manatees. So what I usually tell my students is um, if you see average yearly increase, and especially with a, uh, a graph or anything with data, you're probably going to be looking at slope, right? Because slope is, is the rate of change, and especially in this one, we're going up, so we're looking for the average increase. So first thing, uh, or another thing I tell my students is let's figure out what the notches mean on the side here. Uh, we go from 1,000 to 2,000. So and there's one, two, three, four, five spots. So each of these is going up by plus 200. All right. And that should kind of make sense, right? 1,200, 14, 16, 18. So if I want to find the average yearly increase, I'm going to see the change, change in Y, over change in X. Okay. That's your slope. So how much did it go up, let's say, from 95 to 96? From 95, we're at about 2,000, right? So it goes up it was from 2,000. And in 95, right over here, it was like 1,800. Yeah, it's about 1,800. So it looks like it's going up 200 manatees in from 95 to 96. That's one year. So about 200. Now that's not really an answer choice so I'm gonna I'm gonna say it's 150 that's our best choice but how could we do this to be a little more accurate well we could take a greater time period couldn't we so let's go from 95 all the way to 2000 and let's estimate where that is that's about there so in five years right I'll put five on the bottom change in Y over change in X right how much did we go up? We went from 1800 to about, oh, let's say about 2500. So 2500 minus 1800. And again, you could eyeball this really fast and get 150, and that could be your answer. I'm just saying, let's say we wanted to be a little more sure. 2500 minus 1800 is 700 divided by 5. Gives you 140. So that's much, much closer to what we hoped it would be, right? So if you want to get more accurate answers, take you know a wider set of points here like I just did. And that's it. It's choice C. So real quick tips. Underline what you're looking for. Big time important. And if you want to get a better rate of change, take some points that are a little farther apart, farther apart on your line. All right, guys. I hope that helped. And I'm going to keep helping you with the new SAT. Thanks.